This is a thin section of a rock which is largely composed of approximately equal sized grains which are non-skeletal although there are one or two skeletal grains or bioclasts present. It is a sedimentary rock. Under plain polarised light, the skeletal and non-skeletal grains are surrounded by a colourless mineral with moderately high relief. This mineral is calcite. It is possible under plain polarised light to see the irregular outlines of these calcite crystals. Most of the grains are rounded and they are of about the same size. They are about one millimetre in diameter. Many are almost spherical, although some are more elongated. These spherical, non-skeletal grains are called ooids and are mainly composed of carbonate mud or micrite. They have a light brown colour under plain polarised light. Some ooids show concentric layers of micrite around a nucleus of paler material, which may well be a shell fragment. Peloids are more irregular or elongated and they are pellets of micrite and most of them don't show any concentric layering. Under cross polars the calcite is identified by its very high up to 7th order interference colours. These are delicate pastel shades of pink brown. When in extinction the calcite doesn't go completely black but it shows a fine speckling. The internal structure of the ooids and composite grains can be seen more easily. These are best viewed under higher magnification. This view shows the thin concentric layers of micrite in an ooid. To the right there is a peloid which is a more elongated and rounded pellet of micrite. Both of these are non-skeletal grains and they're cemented together by calcite crystals. This detailed view shows micrite coating an elongate shell fragment. The bioclass is now composed of calcite crystals. These concave convex contacts provide evidence that the ooids were compacted before they were cemented together. Some of the more irregular shaped masses of micrite show no internal structures and they may represent ripped up fragments of carbonate mud. In summary, this sedimentary rock is limestone. It's largely composed of non-skeletal grains held together by sparry calcite. It is an oolitic limestone. Under Folk's classification of limestone, it will be named oosparite. This is because it's composed of ooids cemented together by sparry calcite. Under Dunham's classification of limestone, it would be named a grainstone because it contains no mud and it is grain supported.